What's up guys, welcome to Dan's How To Videos, and yes, you are looking at a destroyed iPhone 4S. This was my iPhone that I've featured in a number of my videos here. Sorry about the glare, but uh, anyway, what happened here is this phone fell from 19 stories uh, from an apartment building, and uh, it was actually 12 floors, but it was on the 19th floor of the building. I don't, I don't understand how that works, but anyway, uh, the way it fell was like this it went crashing down on this end blew out the front facing camera blew out the rear uh, HD camera as well as shattered the glass and uh, obviously it's damaged pretty good here now I do have some footage of what happened that day and uh, I'll show you that right now and the security was nice I just dropped my iPhone 4s from the 19th floor <laughs> okay come outside so I don't actually need to put it down so I don't do it again. <laughs> so I dropped it from here. Watch me drop this now. Don't drop it down. <laughs> down to that over there. And it looks a lot higher than it is. It, yeah, but it's still, it's up on 11 or 12 floors down. Yeah, 11 or 12 floors. So, take away about four or five yeah. floors. Well, it's not the 19th because they're oh, no, missing a 14th and a 13th out. floor. It's freaking out now. Is it? Yeah. Damn. Look at it, take a video of that. It's going nuts now, the phone. It's in shock. Well, it was fine. It was still working. Like, it, you could yeah, still- Yeah, there's probably like glass inside. It's in shock. No, I'm just gonna- Keep it warm. I just don't want to get electrocuted. Oh my God. You know, I don't even know if you can get electrocuted from this, but- It's not electric. You can get battery acuted. I still don't want that to happen, ma. Anyway, now you're stripping the phone it. still works. Now but it's, it's shattered in several different places. Wow. <sighs> Look at that. Well, your camera is not going to work. That's for sure. Imagine it does. I'm going to try to take a picture actually. Open up the camera app. Okay, that's what you see in the camera app. Actually, won't even take a picture. No. no that's all glass. is broken pretty good the weird thing is the touch screen still works like That's even on the part see even on the broken parts it still because works because i guess the touch there, screen there must be a glass, glass. yeah see yeah. and then it messes Who up makes again. that phone apple you need to tell apple how good their phones are that they know oh. they know i should bring it in like this <laughs> and just yeah, beg them for a new one yeah look it fell right on this corner on this edge here so it smacked that corner and popped it out Forensic analysis. Alright. Well, that's it. That's it. Alright, so hopefully you guys enjoyed that little segment there. Um, the days after this phone actually fell from the video you just saw, it was still working and it actually cleared up. The screen was perfectly fine, but after a while it started to bleed down, uh, like black started bleeding. So whatever's inside, must have had an issue. You can kind of see the on the side here, it's opened. And when it fell, it just popped that open a little bit. Well, anyways, fire started to come out and that freaked me out. It was, it, uh, the battery must have popped open. Uh, I looked up some information on this and apparently the batteries are pretty sensitive. So something must have actually punctured the battery during this fall and uh, finally caught fire or something. I'm gonna actually show you this. I'm gonna, let me just try to balance this. I'm gonna go ahead and plug in my phone here to the wall charger. This phone still works. Let me just plug it in there. Now it's plugged in <clears throat> and it still works. This has no battery power because the battery obviously caught fire and is no, no longer working, but it still works. I'm just gonna give it a second here to boot up. Does it turn on? Yeah, it turned on. See? All right, so I'm in. The phone is actually still working. Let me just get a better angle on the camera. Okay, you can see there's some lines sort of going through it right here, here. Now it's actually in the apps. I'm gonna try to open up Notification Center and you can see it's changed, so I'm gonna raise it back up. You can actually see it's still running the apps. It can still do things. Now I'll push the home screen again. Back to my home screen. Uh, I don't even remember what apps I had in what order, but you can see it is turning. The phone still works. 
I mean, I don't know what I'm going to push here, but well, that's one app. Not sure which one. Um, the speakers used to work, uh, but after the fire, they stopped working as well. Uh, let's see, what else do we got here? I'm trying to find something. Maybe, maybe I can open something that does something different. The thing is, I need to get a new phone because I'm using a very crappy Sony Ericsson. I actually have it in my pocket here. Oh, no, I don't. But uh, that's pretty much it. I'm using a Sony Ericsson. If you like this video, hit that thumbs up button. It helps me out a lot. And, uh, you know, feel bad for me. Leave a comment down below. I just wanted to show you guys this. I'm not, you know, judging anything. You know, Apple phone. It, this could have happened with any phone. But I'm just shocked that it still works. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. If you want to see more tech videos, subscribe up top. And I will see you in the next one.